of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. This is the first book in the um, 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 in the uh, series. This is the first book. Um, I gave it a um, a four star. Um, I couldn't believe this book. Oh my God, to my surprise, this was really good and it kept my attention the whole way. 19 year old Faye is a hunter and one evening she kills a wolf while hunting a deer. She didn't realize that her killing the wolf would lead her to be captured by not only an animal but a high, um, a high, um, Faye and his name is Tamron. Tamron, I hate him. I can't stand him. Uh, Faye has to stay in the high court to pay her debt for killing the wolf. All she wants to do wants is to go home, and all through Tamara is not making it easy any easy for Claire. She slowly starts to have a likely, which then turns to love for Tamara. Being around him in his world, seeing all the harshness and give, goes on, Faye is becoming more close to Tamara. Rain was pretty much a jerk to Tamron during things just to jerk a wreath from Tamron. The High King was a bitch too. Mm. So glad she's dead. <laughs> Overall, I enjoyed the first book in this series and plan to continue. All, also, I think this series should have been under new adult and not young adult because of sex, the drinking, that's involved. Nothing less I really enjoyed, and we'll move on to book two. But, um, I really enjoyed this book. Like I said, I gave it a, uh, four star on my good read. But like I said, it's about the day. Um, she kills a wolf, and thinking it was a deer, and end up going to, um, high court to pay her debt back for killing a wolf. Um, but, um, I really enjoyed it. Um, book number two is coming this way. Um, but um, Faye is a hunter, so she was hunting food for her family, and uh, she ended up killing a wolf. So uh, she ended up going to the high court to Tamron, and I think she ends up falling in love with him. I'll find out in book number two. I'll keep y'all up to date. A Court of Mr. and Fury. This is the. Um, Um, I think um, the Avatar series. It took me a minute to think what it was, um, but this is book number two. Um, I gave this a five out of five stars. I would have gave it more if I could. This was my favorite. Rain and Nessa and Lucian are my favorite. They and Tamron, uh, Tamon. I can't stand. Uh, even though they fell in love, I cannot stand them. Um, but um, she's got to um, rescue him from the uh, uh, queen, um, the fairy queen, and she's got to risk it all to uh, save him. But it comes with a price, and it's a heavy price price so um, I um, the ending was was great um, I would I would recommend this series for you guys if you've not read it it's really good but this is my favorite one out of book one and book three that I've read so far um, but like I said, she's got to um, she's got to rescue him from the queen uh, fairy, and then when she try uh, she does, um, like I said, it comes with a prize, the high lord um, of the night court. But my favorite court is uh, spring court in this in this series. I think there's like four courts. Um, 
the night court, spring court. Um, I forget the other two, but um, Ren and um, Nessa and Lucian, my favorite. I love all three of them. Um, I'm hoping that Ren and Nessa fall in love, but I'll find out in book number three. If they do, if it's not in book number three, then I'll find out in book number four. I think it's about Nessa, though, but hopefully I'll find out. But um, I really enjoyed this book. Um, it was it was great. It was it was my favorite. Um, Things and Ruin. This is book number three in the uh, Avatar series. Um, I gave this a 3.5 stars on my Goodread. Um, it wasn't my favorite. Like I said, book number two was my favorite. Um, but um, I grew to love Faye, even though I hated her in book two. But book three, I loved her. Um, Nessa, Rain, uh, Lucian, and and Faye are my four favorite characters now. Um, Tamman, I, I still can't stand. Even though he's in, uh, she uh, Faye's out for, for revenge. Uh, she left the night court and um, um. Uh, she's playing she's playing a deadly game and trying to save Tamron her lover uh, from um, making a deal with the king that could ruin everything but uh, she didn't uh, make it in time um, she risks everything and loses loses her world and her um, village and everything in it to try to rescue him and um like i said this was a 3.5 star it wasn't my favorite in the series but it was all right um um but now uh faye has to decide who to trust in the um in the spring court uh, she don't trust anybody now so hopefully I'll find out in um, book number four but everybody's saying that's about Nessa so I don't know if Tamron um, Lucian Ren or Faye is going to be in it it may be just about Nessa I, I don't know uh, but the novella everybody's saying don't read it because it's not really connected to um, the Avatar series. It's just a um, like a backup. But I may pick it up. I, I don't know. I may just jump into four and go from there. But um, we'll see. I, I honestly don't know. Like I said. Um, But uh, we'll we'll see how it goes. Um, but um, I'm hoping that uh, Ren and um, Nessa fall in love. Them are my two main characters and Lucian. But I'll find out in book four. I doubt I'll find out in the novella, but I'll find out in book four, and we'll go, and I'll be able to give a full book review on it. Um, the novella, A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J. Mask. Um, this is a novella, um, pretty much um, given sus uh, suspected on um, uh, Fairy and Wren um, are in this one. Um, a little bit of Nessa but it uh, pretty much picks up where the war left off in uh, A Court of Ruin 
of course wings of ruin um i really in i really enjoyed this i gave it a three star out of five on my goodreads it wasn't my favorite so far my favorite in that series is um a court of um uh, hold on a second guys a Court of Mist and Fury. That is my favorite out of the series so far. I'll be picking up book four um, real soon. Um, I will keep you all up to date on it. Uh, but um, in this one, they're talking about Faye and, and Ren. And they're friends. And they're too busy rebuilding the Night Court. And um, a lot's changed since then. But like I said, we got a little bit of Nessa in there just a little bit not a lot it, it's mainly about the main two Faye and Rin which are my favorite two too um but um Faye negatives her first uh winter uh high high lady and um build the event of the court of the room with her later uh books but um I really enjoyed this but I gave it a three stars it, I don't think it was necessary um, to be put out, but um, I um, I love this cover, just right off the bat. I love this cover, but um, I think that um, um, I think that um, like I said, I don't think they should have put out the novella. But if you've not read this series, I, I, um, I wouldn't recommend picking up the novella. It's, it's really not saying much about it. Um, like I said, it's about Faye and, and Ren, um, rebuilding the night court. Just rebuilding and, um, changing the war, um, pretty much. So, it's really not saying too much about it. But, um. If you want to pick it up, you're more than welcome to. But I gave it a three stars out of five on my Goodreads. It wasn't my favorite. Like I said, my favorite was um, A Chord of Mist and Furies. That was a badass book. Um, uh, book four is supposed to be about all about Nessa. So I'm so excited to see what happens next. Um, yeah, I... I I mean, you could pick it up if you want, but it's really not necessary to go in to go into book number four. Um, you can just go into book number four without reading the novella. I mean, but if you want to read it, go for it. But I gave it a three three stars, as high as I can rate it. Um, I hope y'all like is a court of silver and flames by Sarah J. Mass. This is the fourth book. Well, if you count the novella, it's the fifth book. Uh, which I read the novella so there'll be five in the vlog um, but this is uh, the book about Nesta follows on Nesta book one, two, and three A Court of uh, Thorns and Roses um, A Court of Mist and Fury and then A Court of Wings and Ruin follow Faye and then this one is following Nesta she lives alone and um she um she gets to drinking and sleeping with a lot of men she's going through a lot and um come to find out my two favorite characters they and and uh Rin, he ends up getting her pregnant uh she ends up dying in this book and the baby uh passed too um but um, Ren was was heartbroken. It, it I cried over this book for two hours. Um, Nesta was trying to get herself back together to help out, and it was just uh, it was a roller coaster. I read this book in four days, and um, my favorite one still is Nesta. 
Everybody loves Nesta. Uh, Faye, Ren, uh, Lucian, and I like uh, Kals. Kalsen? Kalsen? Chasson. Chasson. I like her too. And um, this was this was a great read. I would recommend a series if you have not read it. Um, it was it was fantastic. I enjoyed it all, all the way to the end and the end of it. Where and Nessa smiles back, her steps slide as she hair tearing down the hill to meet them. That was the end of it. But it was it was great. I really, really enjoyed this book. Um, I love the map that's in it. It's so pretty. But this book I get sorry about that. Um, but this book it was fantastic. Um, five out of five stars. Like I was saying, I gave a quart of um, Thorns and Roses a um, four star. I gave a quart of Mist and Fury five stars, and I gave a quart a quart of Wings and Ruin three star, and I gave a quart of Frost Frost and Starlight. Three star. So, book two and uh, book four are my favorite. The favorite two. I will be rereading this series again because I loved it. It was it was that good. Um, but it's it, it's crazy. Um, it's got a lot of um, trigger warnings in it. Um, sexual assault. Sex, um, rape, uh, abuse, I think. Them's the only four I know right off the bat. So if you got trigger warnings, anything like that, I would not read this. Um, but um, I thought this book was fantastic. Um, like I said, it, it was great. Um, I love the the cover. It's so pretty. But uh, this was great. Nessa is my girl. I, I was pissed off for a little while because I kept picking on her and stuff. But um, she finally stood up for herself and finally gave up the drinking and 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 the drugs and all that. Um, but um, I'm really excited to see what happens in book five which I don't know what it is yet because it just came out so an unforgettable plan but this this is a great series if you have not read this I will go pick it up it's that fan it's the uh, it's that great I I wanted to tell y'all something about this book. Uh, the last 200 pages was emotional. It was a roller coaster. I cried for, I would know, a good hour over this book. Um, it, it was, it was great. Um, I made the, uh, 70, chapter 75, Cassie lands face down on earth. Nessa rushed towards him, praying, sobbing, her magic still echoing through the world. She turns him over, searching for the knife and the wound, but the knife lay beneath him, unbloodily. He groaned, cracking his eyes open. I figured he grasped. I should lie low where you, you did that. Nessa grasped at him, then burst into tears. Chastity sat up, smoothly sound on his tongue, and took her face in his his hand. You unmate her. Then Nessa 
ground to the crown on the earth, the back stand where Belly had been. She had it coming. He cuckled, leaning his brow against her. Nessa closed her eyes, breathing in his scent. You are my mate, Chassie. And she, and she, and she said against his lips as he kissed him softly. In your mind, he said, kissing her in return, and then his hand slid into her hair, and the kiss, it didn't, did not matter, the world around them, or the crown at her feet, as he kissed her, a May kiss, one that sets his soul, twindling, growing, she pulled back, leaning, letting him see the joy in her eyes. Her smile, his all, his own joy made her throat tighten. Chassis, I, but two figures landed be beside them, making the mountain shoulder, and they swirled to find Mo and Ezreal there, face grave. Ezreal's Chassis demands safe and made dagger in our possession again. And Azrael said, through Eber is pissed and confused. He's at the Trown City, but it's Faye, Nor said. And then, uh, she blinked at Ren and then turned to Nessa. I love you too, Ren whispered to her sister and smiled. Nessa didn't stop her sobbing as she launched herself onto Thay and embraced her. But the guilt was short life, hardened the strength of a blink between a healthy well went up from the other side of the room and Nora was weeping as the a babe she brought to the bed was not not the small still things she she'd been holding, but as full term wiggly boy he thickens cap of dark hair laid plans on his head on as for his mother. They began sobbing then too, taking her son from Nora hardly noticing M Majaya suddenly blurting between her legs inspecting what was there the healing if I didn't know better I'd say you developed an Allison the healer among but no one was listening not as when put his arm around Fay and together they prayed at the boy, their son. Together they we laughed and when Ma just said, Let's feed him they obeyed, wondering in her eyes as she brought him to her breast, now swallowed with milk. But Naya's watching in awe for all the moments before he swirls to Nessa who had slid off the bed and now stood beside the mast. Behind her was a crown and the grass blade on the floor. Chas held his breath as the two of them survived each other. Then then Ren falls to his knees and took Nessa's hand in his presence, his mouth to her fingers. Thank you, he reaped a hand bow. Chasson knew it wasn't in gratitude for men, for Ren's own life that he tell upon the scar tattoo ink upon his knees. Nessa dropped to her the carpet, lift, 
Grim's face to her hands and studied what lay in it. Then he threw her hands, her arms around the High Lord of the Night Court and held him tightly. So basically, they did not die. And her baby survived and Grim survived. And I'm happy. They had a baby boy and the ending was fantastic. The last 200 pages was fantastic. Uh, five out of five stars all the way. Um, I can't wait to see what happens in book number five. It's going to be another year, so I'll probably read this before it comes back out again. So, and get another book with you guys. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Hit that bell button to be notified every time I upload uh, new content. And I will see y'all in my next video. And happy reading. Bye.